Hi, I'm Richard Bergman from DexGo.com, and I've been an SBI user since 2004, and I've been able to build this multi-million dollar business all because of SBI. If I can do it, you can too. Richard's solo build it story will resonate with anyone that has created a brand new product and tried taking it to a market that knows nothing about you. How do you gain credibility, traction, and most importantly, sales? Hello, I'm Paul Buckingham, roving ambassador for Solo Build It. Operating out of a spare bedroom and basement, Richard launched his first ever building product, the Titan Post Anchor, to build a communities across the United States and Canada. At the time, he was sure he was onto a winner, but he had to prove it to himself and the hardware outlets who would otherwise completely ignore him or beat him down in price. His only method of gaining credibility, traction and sales was to build a focused online business with Solo Build It. Now his product is sold online, distributed through the hardware outlets that previously weren't interested and his multi-million dollar dream is a reality. This is his Solo Build It story. So you really kind of thought online is the only way for me to go. Is that correct? Yeah, I, I, I knew it was the only way to go. And the reason was? The reason was is that no big retailer is going to take me serious if I've never sold it and I can't prove to them that I have something they want. They want products that sell. I got it. Here's the proof. Let's do business. So basically, having an online business was going to be critical to the credibility of your product from a sales point of view, the marketing to be able to reach a large number of people, and also just the earning the right, saying to somebody like an outlet, hey, yeah, you know, I've got this thing and it really is needed and wanted. That's critical. I think if you're selling hard goods, I don't know how anyone else would do it. Now, I know I, I've, I've seen other people do it the old school way, pre-internet, and it can still work, but it requires having very, very deep pockets, a benefactor who can keep funding you. And then each time you take funding, you lose a part of your company. I own, yeah. this, I own this company lock, stock, and barrel. And if it go, that's good, but it's also bad. If it goes down, I go, I go down with the ship. So, but... <clears throat> I really would have it no other way. What was your journey to solo build it? That's a great question. And I came to solo build it after having been through the gauntlet of trying other things. So for almost two or three years, I had been researching everything online. I had been taking courses. I had, I, 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 I the first site I had prior to this, uh, was built with GoDaddy and a webmaster who charged me a fortune <laughs> to build a site to sell a single product that was not was was useless, quite frankly, and cost me a lot of money. But I did learn a little bit about how not to do it and why you need control over your own store, over your own site. Why you, if you're starting out, need to be able to publish your own pages and build the structure of your site around certain keywords. All of that became crystal clear to me when I read Ken's first ebook. I read it from cover to cover a couple of times and I knew that this guy was the real deal. And I knew that what, I, cause I had the scars. So like he would say certain things. I'm like, yep, yep, <laughs> that's right. And I knew, okay, this is, I can do this and I can, why did I spend 15 grand with that webmaster that didn't even listen to all the things that I was telling him to do that Ken is now reinforcing and saying to me I should have been doing. So I had learned enough that I just was like, okay, I got to go dig into this. And uh, that's what led me to SBI. There are so many experts in the in the internet world and in the online sales world these days. They'll often say, well, all you need to do is to set up a Facebook page or a Shopify account with a free web page. And yet you've gone down the route of creating really a mega information site that supports your product and the credibility of your product. What's the difference between the two as you sort of stand on the outside? That's a fantastic question. Uh, because I have, I have a, a friends and family members who have built other products on their own and it's a very tight product 
and it, they've just built a, say, a Shopify store, and they've tried to pull some traffic in from Facebook with the targeted ads, and they have some success, but it's like a treadmill that you have to keep feeding. And so fortunately, and I give all this credit to Ken, uh, because without it, I wouldn't be here. I just would not be here. He said from the very beginning, theme, and he still says it to this day, themes, broad enough that any product you develop fits under that umbrella. Don't You could make your umbrella small if you want, sure, but then remember that that smaller umbrella only covers so much area from the rain, so that's your zone. If you have a fairly broad umbrella, you have more room to work with. I'm working within that whole protected area under my umbrella, which is deck building, outdoor living. Now I came up with one product that fits into that beautifully, but I can write endlessly on this stuff because I love it. And I'm constantly in this milieu. I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a student. I'm a enthusiast of this particular topic. And that's where SBI shines. So, so here's the thing. If you try to do it the traditional way and just buy yourself a shop, so Shopify site, I'm sure you'll sell some product. It's a fantastic software. I use Shopify. But if you don't have the free traffic that comes with all of the thousands of pages that you can write on and not have to rely on being number one in the top 10 anymore, because for me, it's tough to be in the top 10. It is, you've got big brands that are basically bullying their way to the top and it's hard. But if you have lots of pages, you can generate thousands of visitors a day and that's their in. And then you can develop a program to get their email and communicate. And that's more work. Yes, it's more work and not easy, but that's your in. It's a competitive world, but this is the way an average person holding a day job can do it. And it's, it, it is, it's, it's working. So looking at the last year, do you mind sharing what, how much traffic that you're getting, say, per day or per month? Sure. It varies, obviously, through seasonality, and it's mostly the Northern Hemisphere. And when we're in the summer months, well, let's say spring to fall, we're anywhere from 3,500 visitors a day. Uh, and then in the winter months, probably around 2,000 a day, uh, 1,500 to 2,000 a day. The thing about that amount of traffic is that it's a really good indicator that you don't necessarily need a lot of traffic in order to have a successful, profitable online business with Solo Build It. Because basically you're talking about a dedicated, committed audience that is specifically interested in your subject. I would rather have um, 150,000 people in a month that are actively involved in the planning of remodeling their backyard and building something than 500,000 that uh, maybe want to build a, a, new, a new bathroom. Well, that's not going to help me. Uh, you know, I, I need the outdoor people. And, and the tighter it is, the tighter that niche, I think the better the quality of your visitors are. And you just need to be able to market to them. And you can succeed with those lower numbers because the traffic is free. That's very important. Free indeed it is. So at what point did you suddenly go with the online business, this is going to work. I actually think this is going to work. And that was an exciting day. That was a very exciting day. Um, so that, that day, I could take you back. That was somewhere around 2007 or 2008. Actually, I was in my basement. And um, I remember putting up the first ad on my original site, which was, if you could do a Wayback Machine, you can see it. And literally the next day I had my first sale, it was $9.99. Uh, and I thought, wow, that was amazing. Gee, that, is, that was quick. And then, <laughs> and then there was a little bit of a delay, you know, because it was February, right? Middle of the winter. But by March 1st, between March 1st and March uh, 30th, I was getting orders every day. And I was, I was starting to realized that I'm moving through this inventory. I was going to the post office every day. Then I was going to FedEx every day. Within two months, I had sold everything. So I remember that feeling right off the bat. I'm like, wow, <laughs> I'm not going to lose my shirt. Oh, happy day. It's a pretty pivotal lesson also in relation to somebody building an online uh, site that's looking at this right now and going, you know, it would be easy to give up when you have had a failure, perhaps with um, another service that doesn't provide the context that Solo Build It provides. Take it from me, Solo Build It has 
everything that you need to make this a success. And if it's not, you're going to see it because Ken takes you through those strategies of, of determining whether your niche is any good or not. And it's clear, you know, that's another thing. Get the confidence. Don't start writing about, uh, you know, butterflies or something if nobody's interested in butterflies. Uh, and so I really think that the chances of failing, you have exponentially reduced the chances of failing with solo build it. Absolutely. Um, and I'm proof positive of that and have done it the other way. So that's what I would tell people.